Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice exponential equation. We have x to the third power into x squared minus 5 is equal to negative 4. And we have to find all the possible solutions to this problem. But before we begin, if you are new here, please do me a favor by subscribing to this channel. It is free, there's no charges on that, and you can change your mind at any time. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. First of all, I'll multiply this one across, okay? So we have x to the fifth power minus 5x to the third power is equal to negative 4x. Now let's equate everything to zero. So we have x to the fifth power minus 5x to the third power plus 4x is equal to zero. So as you can see, we have x here, x here, x here. So we can factor x out. So we have x into x to the fourth power minus 5x to the second power plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so at this point we can say that x is equal to 0 or x to the fourth power minus 5x to the second power plus 4 is equal to 0. Now let's focus on this equation over here. Now here, I'll be showing you two ways to factor this one. Now the first method is that I'll rewrite this equation as x to the second power, all to the second power minus 5x to the second power plus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, so now I'm going to set x to the second power to y. Okay, so that wherever I see x to the second power, I'm going to put y over there. So we have y to the second power minus 5y plus 4 is equal to 0. So from here, we will look for two numbers that when you multiply them, you get this 4. But when you sum them up, you'll be getting negative 5. And the numbers are negative 1 and then negative 4. Okay, so now this equation now becomes y to the second power minus y minus 4y plus 4 four is equal to zero. Now here we have y here and then y here, so we can factor y out. We have y minus one over here. Then we have negative four into y minus one. And this is equal to zero. So from here we have y minus four as one of the factors and then y minus one as the other factor. Okay, so at this point we can say that y minus 4 is equal to 0 or y minus 1 is equal to 0. So here let's make y the subject from here. Making y the subject we have y minus 4 plus 4 is equal to 4. So that this one will cancel this. Now we have y is equal to 4. Or from here we have y minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1. So that this one will also cancel this. Now we have y is equal to 1. But don't forget that we said y is equal to x to the second power. Okay? So from here, when y is equal to 4, okay, x to the second power is also equal to 4. Now since we want to find the value of x, let's take the square root on both sides. But don't forget that we have plus or minus here. So that this one will take care of this. Now we have x is equal to plus or minus. Square root of 4 is nothing but 2. Okay. Now let's focus on this equation. When y is equal to 1, we have x to the second power is also equal to 1. Okay. So now let's take the square root on both sides. There will be plus or minus. So that this one will cancel this. Now we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 is 1. Okay, so now putting everything together, we have x is equal to, the first one is 0, then minus 1, 1, then minus 2, and lastly 2. So these are the possible solutions to the problem. When you substitute any of these into this equation, which is, um, when you substitute any of them to this equation, you'll be getting zero, okay? 
Okay, so if you can remember, I said we have two ways that you can use to factorize this trinomials over here. We have x to the fourth power minus 5x to the second power plus 4 is equal to 0. So all you need to do is to construct your sample table. Okay. Alright. Now the operation sign over here is multiplication. Then here we have addition, then multiplication. Then I'm going to move this one over here. Okay. So we have x to the fourth power over here. And I'll bring this one here. So we have negative 5x squared. And I'll bring this 4 over here. So we have 4. Alright, so if I multiply x to the second power by another x to the second power, I'll be getting this 4, this x to the fourth power. Okay, then from this side, if I add negative 4x squared to another negative x squared, I'll be getting this negative 5x squared. Then this side, if I multiply negative 4 by negative 1, I'll be getting this positive 4. Okay? So from here, all that you need to do is to draw a diagonal line to get to the end one. Then you stand here, then you move to the end one. Okay? And this becomes your factors. You can say that from this one we have x squared minus 1 is one of the factors. Then this one and then this is another factor. So we have x squared minus 4 is another factor and this is equal to 0. Alright? Then from here, this is difference of two squares. You know this is to the power 2, but since it is 1, we don't write it. Okay, so we can say this is x plus 1, then x minus 1. Now, considering this one, this 4 is also the same as 2 to the power 2. Okay, so this is also difference of 2 squares. So we have x plus 2, then x minus 2, and everything is equal to 0. So from here, each factor is equal to 0. So you can say x plus 1 is equal to 0. I mean this one. Okay. Then this one also, which is x minus 1, is equal to 0. Then x plus 2 is also equal to 0. And lastly, x minus 2 is also equal to 0. So solving for x in each equation, from here we have x is equal to negative 1. Then this side we have x equals 1. Then this side we have x equals negative 2. And lastly, this side we have x is equal to 2. And don't forget that this side we had x to be 0. So putting everything together, this is what we'll be getting. Okay, so x is equal to negative 1, 0, 1, negative 2, and finally 2. Okay, if this method is useful to you, please let me know it in the comment section. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.